Hello everyone, welcome to Playing with Ruff. So this is Raphael from Kingdom 2089 and uh, yeah, I got zeroed because I was careless and I forgot shelt and I'm in a civil war kingdom. So basically I'm here today to show you guys the new array interface that Clash of King has introduced. This really looks wow. This 3D interface. Um, basically Clash of King did a tremendous job because this is really user friendly. So on the top there is a crescent sign and on the bottom there is a star sign. And they have done another thing. They have replaced the arrays order. So basically on from here there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight array. But now they have rotated it and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what they did was the arrays from one to four they actually give HPs the most uh, valuable attribute that you can get from them and this right side they give offensive damage defensive damage into crit rate crit rate etc these are also really uh, aspired attributes but uh, they're hard to get so these arrays cost a lot luckily i got some uh, but they really aspire the race and this side these on the left side are hp arrays basically and if you're lucky enough you can get all four attributes hp and if you're rich enough to buy that i mean you can synthesize few like arrays and then get double attributes or triple attributes or you can buy it from platinum store where people has already given those so this is the hp part on the left side and on the right side uh, it's the offensive damage defensive damage damage taken reduction and this sort of very uh, good attributes so on this left side where it's one two or five you can get like health, attack, defense, crit damage, crit rate, etc. And on this side, for every type of race, you can get crit damage taken reduction, offensive damage, offensive damage taken reduction, defensive damage, DD reduction, and also many more. So, I am really loving this interface because it is really easy to see what attributes your arrays are giving you because previously the array size were bigger but the attributes overview was not big enough and also this new shadow seize event has begun again previous in the previous year i've seen many people posting stuff about this event that this is not <laughs> that good but i really personally love it because of not because of the resources, but because of the owner's recovery speed ups. I was really worried about them because I have been wasting a lot of them in the Dragon Campaign battles. So that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And again, this is your friend Ruff from Kingdom 2089. And goodbye for now. In the next video, I'll show the most expected and most anticipated battle overviews of Dragon Campaign, the Champion Battlefield. So keep your eye open and good night.